Hi everybody, how is everyone doing? I'm just testing out the tripod. Let me show you what the box looked like. Uh, this one. It, I, um, I believe I said it was 20 something. It's actually 29, so it's almost like 30 bucks. So actually not the cheapest. And yes, again on Amazon. And I'm going to just uh, do a little bit of drawing nothing fancy, just to see how it records, if it's recording the right way, and all that jazz, and I might venture into this, but it is going to be a short video, so we'll see. Reference to the left, and goodness, I feel like drawing is easier for me without my glasses, so I will take those off. And bring the reference a bit closer. And I think I really need to put the glasses back on. Because I'm having trouble seeing. Um, as you can see, the arms do show, and I don't believe there's any way of avoiding that because they only go out so far. So if that's a problem, it might not be something you're looking for. I am going to, again, put my glasses back on and continue. Please stand by. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, this little area of little one's head is a bit long there, a bit wide, but that's okay. That's why I got an eraser. Bring the head a little bit longer here. Uh, the reference again is from my favorite app for portraits and such. Well, especially portraits. They're starting to bring in new things, um, like landscapes and that. Um, the Sketchy app. And let me bring in this lovely kneadable eraser. This little guy. I love these things. They're fun as fidget toys, too. Okay, just fix that little area up. And get over here. And once I figure out how to do speed through and that, I guess I'll be probably doing those too. In the future, as I continue to research and learn about filming, filming for YouTube, if you have suggestions, any feedback, greatly, greatly appreciated. And I truly hope you can hear this well. Get some of the hair going. Let's tap this down even more. So somewhat like a backwards oval. Now I'm putting in some shoulder. The little guy is a uh, guy or girl is facing downwards while doing some sidewalk chalk. So that's why we have shoulders coming up from over there and a very, very intriguing angle. That's actually what drew me this to this uh, photo reference. So with playback, I guess I'm also going to see how well this works. And I do believe because I'm not loving these, these will probably temp be temporary measures until I can save up and find something uh, better. Whether it be an iPhone or um, maybe some kind of camera that can take great photos as well as uh, do all the things that are required for YouTube. And I think it's also a great way to just uh, memorialize how I do portraits and share the experience with others. And hopefully this will inspire others to, you know what, just learn. 
just just play around with creativity have fun you don't need to be amazing or you know brilliant at it it's honestly it's really so calming very therapeutic again that's the hair i'm going into a bit more detail than i should be right now because i should be plotting down um for me i think that's just a bad habit that i've got to work on i've gotten so used to just uh free handing and not even um you know like doing the oval the larger uh area that would be for the arms and whatnot i just go right in and sometimes i do lose the proportions and it doesn't doesn't quite work as the way i should so something for me to work on because as an artist you're always evolving you're always learning making mistakes but that's how we get better so for what i'm doing i actually do like this $30 and I have seen some cheaper ones so again if you want to check it out that was the Cavavo I believe that's how I'm pronouncing it and again this is how it looks if you can kind of see it I don't have a lot a lot of space in here to draw either oops I don't know what that was but yeah <laughs> 